big news in treating sickle cell disease, the FDA approving two types of gene therapies. And ABC's Melissa Adan joins us now with more on that. Melissa, good morning. A good morning, Wit. It's pretty remarkable. Look, the president supporting the FDA approval of the first two breakthrough therapies for sickle cell disease. Now, some researchers really calling the treatment a functional cure for many patients. Sickle cell is a genetic condition that affects approximately 100,000 Americans, primarily black Americans with African ancestry and Hispanic Americans. One of the new treatments will use a gene editing technique called CRISPR. The treatments will use a gene editing technique called CRISPR the first approval of its kind. And the other uses an older gene therapy, which has the ability to remove and then replace highly specific sections of DNA. The process is difficult and expensive with patients undergoing chemotherapy to prepare, which may even jeopardize fertility. But an encouraging sign is that patients will only need to receive the treatment just once over the course of their lifetime. And that's really raising hopes for treating other diseases. Gio? Mistakes in DNA cause disease, genetic disease. If we could go in and fix those mistakes, we could save many, many lives and get rid of these diseases. CRISPR is a very fascinating tool. You figure out a part of the DNA sequence that you want to change. Then you take the DNA that's nearby and create a guide in RNA. So that helps you locate the position. And then you link this CAS enzyme, which has the ability to do that cut and edit. And so pulling together this guiding RNA and this CAS enzyme, editing uh, becomes possible.